extreme hunting excitement. The gang is hunting with North Country Outfitters. Owner Ron McDonald knows bear and the country they call home. What makes really good bear habitat, I think, is lots of lakes, creeks, slough bottoms, big poplar, spruce ridges. I think that makes really good bear habitat. That's what you look for, for I think, to find these big bears is just really good habitat, thick country. We have lots of, uh, like the big bush, the big boreal forest, and we, what's, what's good and unique about here is we have, we're, we border, we hunt along these big parks, and it's full of, there's no hunting in the parks, and we, we, we can hunt close to the borders, and we just, we draw them big bears in. It's so rugged terrain, like it's hills, and creeks, and rivers, and slough bottoms, and, just makes it good habitat for the bears to, to live in. So that's what, that's what makes it really good. Generally from our experience, a, a, a big bear is like, just like shooting a big white-tailed deer. They're, they're very smart. The, uh, uh, a bear is a, a thinker, you know, where deer it's on in instinct. But uh, a big bear is, they get big for, for a reason. They're really smart, they're really hard to hunt. Um, they'll come into a bait lots of times just right at dark where sometimes it's too late to get a shot and the only thing what we got going for us is for a big bear is when the sows are in heat they'll sometimes make the mistake and come into the come into the site. See what that bear's turned uh, broadside to me, and I let that air go, and I mean, I knew it was right on the mark. Yeah, folks, I want to tell you right now, that is freaking awesome. That is an awesome chocolate. We're here in, we're in Alberta with Ron and Mae McDonald, North Country Outfittings, folks. It doesn't get any better than that. That right there is a great chocolate bear. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord. What a blessing. All right, folks. I, Ron just got here with a quad. I just climbed down out of the tree. I'm about to walk over here and pick my air up. I could see the blood on the air from the top of the tree. Ron, he came in. This, we've got the big chocolate we're looking for, Ron. We got him, baby. Let's come on. I, I, I got to go get my hands on this bear. Let's go, let's go check it out. There he is, baby. Come on, there he is. Right there. Right on. There he is. Look, 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 look. Oh, that's so silly. What a brute. What a brute. Golly. Look at how beautiful that oh thing is. Oh my god. Holy jumping. Oh. Look at this bear. Look at this bear. Oh my gosh. Look at this bear. Look at his pads. Grab his pads, his front paws. Look at them pads. Golly. Look at them pads. What a bear. What a freaking bear. Look, opposite shoulder. Remember yep. what I told you? Look. Yeah. Opposite shoulder. All right, folks, here he is. What an, I mean, what a blessing from the Lord. Unbelievable, huge black bear, but he's a chocolate on top of that. You know what? You can't ask for a better hunt, a better bear. What a beautiful coat. This is gonna be memories of a lifetime for me. I just wanna give special thanks to Ron and Mae McDonald from North Country Outfitting. I tell you what, they have really done a good job with us this, this, this week. They have put us on great bears. We knew these, this, this spot had some good bears. Ron told me, Keith, just stick it out. 
you know, let's, let's give it an opportunity. And, and I tell you what, it's the last day of the season and did it pay off. What a beautiful, beautiful animal. What we generally try to do is we try to scout the area really good, look for lakes, beaver ponds, and just try to get into thick timber, you know, with some good poplar ridges and spruce ridges in there and get set up close to some kind of a pond or a river or where we figured the bears would be traveling, looking for food in the spring. Just, that's what we, we try to do. This is a bow video camera from Game Plan Gear to catch the second angle. This bear's coming in. He's throwing his nose up, smelling. The wind's swirling a little bit. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I wasn't sure if he smelled us or not, but he came straight in to 10 yards. When that shot went off and I knew I'd hit him good, he didn't go nowhere. Within seconds, he was down. You talk about excited, I was excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Whew. That's what I'm talking about right there. 10 yard shot, put the hammer to him. He's been reaperized.